Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to read and extract system date and time. System date and time is an internal clock of the PLC. You can read date and time of the CPU in a couple of ways. First one, let's open hardware configuration. Mark the CPU, click on PLC and select set time of day. Dialog window opens, where you are able to see the date and time of the PLC. You can set date and time of the PLC here as well. Another way is to read date and time programmatically. Siemens has a system function SFC1, called Red CLK, that is developed to get the system date and time. This function returns retail value as integer type, where the status of the read is stored, and 8 bytes date time variable, where date and time of the PLC is stored. This variable cannot be read directly, it needs to be decoded. The data structure of that variable looks like that. Let's try read system date. Create a function. Create temporary variable of type date and time, an integer type variable to store the return status. Get the system function SFC1 from library and call it on demand. It can be found in libraries, stdlibs, and built-in. Assign created temporary variables to the system function as follows. Call our function in OB1. Load project to the PLC to test. Let's try to read the PLC's date and time. As you can see, reading was successful, because return error is zero. But as I mentioned, the data is not readable, it needs to be decoded. Create a data block and add two variables. One of type date, and another one of type time of day. In the first one, readable date format will be stored. In second one, readable time of the day will be stored. Switch back to our function. To decode the date, you need Siemens function FC6, DT to date. It can be found in libraries, IEC. Drag and drop it into the network, right after the SFC1. Input will be our temporary date time variable, and return will be date variable from data block. To decode time of day, function FC8. DT to TOD is needed. Drag and drop it into the network, right after the FC6. Input will be our date time variable, and return, time of day variable from data block.
load the project to the PLC to test. Now we are able to get date and time of the PLC in readable format. Next let's try to extract all the data from date time variable into separate variables. In the data block create integer type variables for year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, milliseconds, and day of week. Switch back to the function. First 6 bytes of data can be extracted by loop. Create temporary variable of type integer. It will be used in for loop. Loop through our date time variable, extract byte by byte, use a binary coded to integer conversion, and save the result into the data block. To get milliseconds, we need to take byte 6 and 4 most significant bits from byte 7. To do that, shift last word by 4 to the right. To get day of week, we need only 4 least significant bits of the byte 7. Use mask to get rid of the unnecessary bits. Save and load to the PLC for test. As you can see, application works well. Now, let's upgrade our project a little bit, to read the date and time periodically, to reduce the load of the CPU. For that purpose, I am going to use internal clock memory of the CPU, and period, 1 second. To access PLC memory clock, Open up hardware configuration, and CPU properties. In the cycle clock memory, check mark on clock memory and select any memory byte, that is most suitable for you.
save and load to the PLC for testing. As you can see, time updates on every second now. Application works well. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.